Lagos, the largest city in sub-Saharan Africa with an estimated population of 20 million, has been transformed by a two-weeks-long shutdown of public life imposed as part of efforts to stem the spread of the highly infectious disease in Nigeria. And as a result of this, major roads on the island remain deserted. Empty roads, empty streets and businesses closed as the usually chaotic mega city is brought to a halt on the first day of a two-week shutdown. The few individuals seen on the Lekki Ekpa Expressway had no option than to trek to their destination. Some police officers were seen manning checkpoints as cars were turned back at the Lekki toll gate as they had no business being on the road. The central business district was also deserted as only those providing essential services could be seen. On getting to Amadu Beloway in Victoria Island, the site of COVID-19 response team is visible. Right now in Lagos, everybody is working. Everybody, all ESCO members, they are all on ground, doing one or two things to put everything in order, to cope the spread of this COVID-19. It's a continuous exercise. We are moving around. We've been to Ikorodu, we've been to Etiosa, via Togate, and we've, we've, we'll continue, you know, doing it until we are, we are good to go. It's a life and death situation. We want to save our city. If you don't have people who are ready to risk their life, if, as we are doing, our city will be consumed. And if it's consumed, we'll be consumed. So um, I tell people, why save money for tomorrow when you're not going to see tomorrow? Wherever you are, come at. Let's volunteer. I volunteer with Beach Samaritan Ambassadors. I'm a volunteer for Activate Fellowship. I'm a volunteer for a lot of organizations. Please come at. Let's win this war. Enforcing the stay-at-home order in a city like Lagos is likely to be a challenge as millions of people depend on their daily earnings to survive. The federal government has insisted that the measures are needed urgently to ward off an explosion in infections that could easily overwhelm the health system in Africa's most populous nation. Babajideli, Silverbed News 24, Lagos.